Good morning, everybody. It's me, Kevin the Carpet Guy. Here we are, another job. I have today a set of stairs that I'm doing, and this set of stairs, they've finished the wood on the both sides, so I'm actually doing a runner that goes down the middle of it. So, I've got to do some binding. Let me show you. I brought my binder today so I can do some some binding edges. That way they uh, can put it on this carpet. So I'm going to show you how I do that. It's going to look really nice. Alright, let's go ahead and bind this. Let me show you how this all works. We've got this old binder. It's kind of old. But it does the job. So I'm kind of happy that I'm able to take this, keep it on the truck. That way whenever I have either a rug to do or a set of stairs with a runner or a coving, I'm able to have these on hand. So let's go ahead and get at it. Got it all bound up. I uh, had some troubles. It just this is a really old unit, so it just kind of every once in a while just stops uh, binding. So you have to start over. So, anyways, I had to do that a few times. But all in all, this thing has been pretty good, pretty reliable. But it's called the Binding Brute. Um, yeah, if anybody has anything like this, let me know how theirs is working for you. I'm just curious to see how it's treating you. It's made me some money over the years, so I'm not complaining. Uh, I guess it's now time to put some carpet on the stairs. Let's go ahead and do that.
that's gonna do it for today. Just finished up. The stairs went down pretty good. Um, everything went nice. Got the lines, the carpet nice and straight. Nice up, all the way up. The customers wanted to go without any pad on it. So I wasn't able to put tack strip on. So what you have to do is just get it as tight as you can without kicking it because there's nothing to hold it. So you have to hold it tight. Yeah, that looks awesome. You have to hold it tight and then staple it. So anyways, that'll do it for today. And we'll see you on the next one.